Let's see. Hello, everyone over in the chat. This is Kelly with Honeybee Stamps, and I had a request on Tuesday night to show some examples of cards and put together some cards using the brand new Spring Blooms background stamp. So that's what I'm going to do today. Let's see here. I see Deanna and Bonnie. Hello, hello. KG Designs. Hello. And as everybody comes into the chat, just make sure you say hello. Uh, chat along with me. And we always choose our giveaway winner from the comments. So let's see here. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get busy. So with this stamp, this large stamp, sometimes even for me, they're awfully intimidating. So I want to give you um, several ideas on how to use background stamps that doesn't necessarily mean having to color in all of these floral images. And so this is just a look at that stamp when it is stamped in just black. So this is the way it would look if I were going to use Copic markers or pencils or anything like that. So this is also... Um, this would be a good one. It's almost like one of those relaxing coloring pages that you could stamp and take on a trip with you or just sit in front of the TV and color at night. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of fun with this one. Now, this is a very, very basic card. So I stamped this in black VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Yep, I want to make sure I got the name right. And then I added clear embossing powder over the top. So all of those little flowers you can see there have that shine of the embossing powder. And then I just left it black and white, added a nice sentiment on some really dark jewel tone paper. And then there you have it, really simple, really easy. I still have the beautiful florals, but I wasn't spending a lot of time um, coloring all of those. So there's a, just a simple example of that one. And then I have some ready to go and ready to put together uh, cards. So let's see here. Let's see, Valerie, hello, hello. Oh, we've got some Oregon people in the house. Let's see, Jay Stein just ordered the pickup truck bum bundle, perfect. Okay, so I have some cards. I'm going to do lots of cards for you, lots of examples for you guys today. So what I've done is I had that stamped image. Let me see if I can't flip it and find the correct way that the florals go. So you can see here where I had that stamped image and I have cut it apart. So I'm going to actually get two different cards out of this stamped and colored image. Now, I sat and chatted with Lisa last night. Um, so Lisa, who's normally in the chat, she also works for Honey Bee Stamps. I chatted with her, and while she and I just chatted, I pretty quickly colored this image. It went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put together this card with one of our buzzwords, and I'm going to show you exactly how I get this kind of... Um, Look, it's kind of inset is what it's going to look like. So I have trimmed down this floral panel to three and three quarters by five. And that's going to give me a nice border all the way around the edges. But then trimming it down to three and three quarters also gave me a really good chunk for this piece that I can use on my other card later. And so that's why I chose to do it like that. So what I've done is taken some of our buzzword dies, and you know that when you get those buzzwords, um, especially the die, the coordinating dies, they have three different dies in those sets. There's a large shadow piece that has the pierced edge all the way around, and then there's a basic shadow here, and then there is the scripty word. So what I have done out of my panel, after I trimmed it down, I cut out the shadow piece. And so you can see where I set that exactly where I wanted it in that floral piece of cardstock and I trimmed it out. Now, 
After I did that, I took the piece that was cut out of this and I used the scripty part and I cut out this. So it is the same image that went in here. I just cut it out and I have stacked a few more just white uh, of the same die cut right underneath. So it's gonna raise that up and give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this card together. And while I do that and kind of get everything glued down, if you have any questions about this, just kind of um, let me know over there in the comments and I will read along, get caught up. Let's see here. Uh, hello in New Zealand. Hello, Melissa. Let's see here. Yes, one more idea. So somebody mentioned, I believe it was Miss Deanna. Yes, this is just one more kind of snazzy, but easy. It looks kind of difficult, but really not. Once you get and you just use your die cuts to make or your dies to do all the work for you. Okay, so I, now I have my colored panel all on that black cardstock. And now I'm simply going to add a little bit of liquid glue to my die cut and then set it right down inside. And so we've got the whole pattern. I'm gonna have a black outline from my paper underneath. So I'm just gonna line this up and kind of inset it into here. Kind of shimmy everything around. There we go. And then you can see how now my hugs, it kind of blends in and it kind of just pops out there from the center. It is raised just a little bit, but you could call it good just like this, or you could add some little gems. I added a little bit of gel, black gel pin to the center of these flowers. So it gives them just a little bit of shine. But I think this one is all done, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next one. Love the color panel, lovely and bright. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Love the colors, thank you. A lot of wow with not too much work, exact, exactly. And that's kind of the fun of that one. Just let the die cuts do all the work for you. Okay, now I'm gonna use my extra panel that I trimmed off of this guy. And I am going to adhere it over here, kind of just on the side of my card. I could actually probably even trim this in two and get two more cards out of this, but I think I'm gonna leave it a little bit chunky. So I'm just gonna leave it as is, add a little bit of liquid adhesive, and then I'm going to set it just over here. I'm gonna raise it up so I can make sure I get everything nice and straight. Just kind of eyeballing everything. And then you can see how beautiful that floral is with the black on the sides. Now this time I'm gonna use a Hello die cut. And again, this is um, just like our buzzwords that I talked about earlier with these really cool dies. And what I have done is I have cut two. And the top one that's in this peachy color, it actually started out as white. And I wanted it to be the same color as the darkest part of my florals. So I took the same color Copic marker and I colored that white die cut. And then I overlaid or underlaid, I should say, I put that right over the top of a white die cut and offset it just a little bit so that would pop up off of my card base there and give it a little dimension, a little something different. So again, I'm just gonna use my liquid adhesive and get that added there to my floral. Let's see here, I'm gonna check. Did you say the stamp was six by six? Yes, and I'll, I can show you here in just a second. Okay, I'm gonna tuck him kind of right down here. 
I'm gonna hold it up and make sure it's nice and straight. And then there you go. I have one more card using the same uh, image that I worked on and colored on and I got two cards out of that one. So I'm gonna call that one all done. This image is, I think it's just under six by six. Let me show you. So it is, it is right at six by six, maybe a just a smidge. It's a little bit shorter this way. This way is six exactly. And this way turned is about five and three quarters. So it's almost six by six. You can see the whole, this is a six by six uh, cut panel here. And so you can see the little bitty bits that I have on the sides. So that kind of gives you an eyeball of where it would fit or how it fits in six by six. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on with another card, another, some more ideas. And then again, I took a white piece of paper and I heat embossed that uh, background stamp right onto my white piece of paper. This, the ink underneath looks a little bit gray. And I honestly think that my Versamark, my watermark ink pad is a little dirty from using it over the top of stamps, but I, I loved it when I put some clear embossing powder over the top and it turned into this really light, almost tone on tone gray. And so again, this started out as one panel and I have trimmed it apart. Now this one, I did a little bit of ink blending right on the uh, over the top, just a really subtle design, a little bit darker here, and then it goes to lighter towards the bottom. But you can see that whitish kind of light gray heat embossed area that kind of pops out from there. So I've got one more little panel to use here. And then this one, I'm gonna add uh, my little, um, heat emboss panel right on this really light gray cardstock. So I'm gonna start by doing that. I always screw my liquid glue back into the base. I see that you, are, you have any problems with the glue leaking. Um, when I finish with my glue at the, at the end of the day or in the evening, I screw it back in. While I'm using it, um, I just leave it setting. You can probably see it, it just sits in here like this. I don't have any uh, trouble with it drying out unless I let it sit um, for a long time. And if it does um, kind of dry there and get a little bit um, where you can't squeeze it out, I always take my honeybee stamps uh, little pick tool and I just stick in the end here and give it a little twist and it gets it all ready to go again. So that's in case I, I let it dry out accidentally, but normally I don't have any trouble with it, just sitting. Okay, so now I have kind of my tone on tone, this beautiful white with light gray on the gray cardstock, and I have used one of our floral images. This just happens to come from the Cosmos stamp set. So it is an older floral, but I wanted a flower that had a really nice long stem. Um, it, it kind of goes with these flowers that we have in the background here. And I, this is going to be my only colored image here. But I thought that was really fun to kind of add a stamped image right on the top. And so I'm going to actually pop this up with a little bit of foam tape. You're welcome, Melissa. Let's see, I think the chunky panel is super, the floral background show is gorgeous. Yes, Miss Mary, that, the floral background, I should have told you guys from the beginning. It is a collaboration with one of our artists. Her name is Emily Midget. She's also um, on the Honey Bee Stamps design team. She's super talented and a lot of our florals are done by her. 
So you've probably noticed the little hand bouquets. I did a card um, Tuesday using one of those little bouquets. Those are drawn by Emily. Um, let's see here. If my camera acts wonky, it should come back. So I'm just, it, my computer's telling me that my camera was a little bit wonky. It should come right back on. Um, but a lot, a lot of our florals are drawn by Emily. And this one is no exception. She's done this big background as well. She did the background that we had in the Valentine's Day release as well. I'm just going to chop me up some little pieces here that I can add right around the edges. So I don't have droopy petals. Okay, and while I kind of peel these off, I'm going to see if there's any comments here. The flower looks good by itself. Yes, Miss Bonnie. I thought that would kind of be fun. The, and to show you guys some ideas to where you don't really necessarily have to feel like you have to color that whole big background. Um, I initially, when I was preparing to meet with you guys today, I was not going to color that background because um, I, I'm not a great Copic colorer. I kind of do enough to, to get by and it, I think it looks pretty nice. If you look really close, it's not perfect. But um, I, so I was trying to think of ways that we could use these background stamps that didn't require us to feel like that we had to do a whole lot of coloring. And so I thought this was fun just to bring in another floral. You could use a floral die cut here, like um, one of our bouquet builders or something like that, but just something to give it a little pop of color there. And you could totally leave it just like that. I'm gonna add this little thanks die cut. And this is from, one of our slimline sentiment sets. So this is part of one of those sets that have the slimline um, like cover plate background die. And it also has a bunch of little die cut sentiments that are part of um, a set. And this scripty kind of really dainty thanks is part of one of those, but I thought it would be perfect kind of tucked right down here by this flower. Very simple, right there along the edge. And then this one again is gonna be all done. And I love that subtle kind of glossy background there again with my flower there with the stem and the thanks die cut. So super easy there, I'm gonna lay this aside. And then now I can take my other little piece that was cut from this larger piece that I brushed a little bit of speckled egg onto it. Let me set this aside. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of the gray cardstock because I just sliced that eight and a half, 11 piece down the center. So I've got two card bases. And then I think I'm going to trim this guy down to be my four and a quarter. So let's see here. Let me just put it in my trimmer and give it a little haircut here. And this one again is going to be pretty subtle on this really light gray cardstock. Again, with a little bit of liquid adhesive. Let's see, loving the simplicity of the card with a flower. I do too. I do too. Let's see, who is that? Miss Deanna. This may, one may be my favorite out of all of them. And um, it's kind of one of those happy surprises where I didn't really know what I was going to do with that heat embossed panel. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to color it. I didn't know it... I didn't put it on watercolor paper, or I might have tried to do kind of a messy watercolor, but it really wasn't on the most appropriate paper. Um, it's just on Nina cardstock. And so I was trying to think of ideas that would be something a little different where I could still use that background, um, but then add a little something to it. 
Okay, so again, this is that same thanks die cut as here. And what I have done is I've used this speckled egg embossing glaze so it perfectly matches the ink that is very subtle here on that embossed background. And I covered the whole die cut with Versamark sticky ink and then set that with the um, speckled egg embossing glaze. I'm going to nestle this thanks kind of right up here like it's perched right on top of this little panel and get it kind of stuck down. Some of it's going to overlap and some of it's going to set right on the top. But very subtle, very super simple. So if you wanted to put together some quick thank you cards, it would be so easy to use your background stamp and maybe do some heat embossing on some cardstock. And then all you have to do is add a simple die cut. So very, very simple and easy to put together quick and easy cards. Okay, I've got a couple of more examples to show with you. Let's see here. Thank you. Let's see, Handy Scandy and Marcy. Hello, hello. Okay, again. You can see where I'm going here today. This is kind of today's theme is how many cards, what can we do with these large panels? So you can see where I started out with my stamped background. This is heat embossed with um, VersaFine Black Onyx ink. I put clear embossing powder over the top of that and then heat set the whole thing. So that black is a little glossy when I hold it up. And then I did some, it kind of turned out a little crazy. It almost looks like 80s bright, um, what do you call those, neon colors. But the pink is the new Kitsch Flamingo. Let's see here, the green and the orange. I honestly cannot tell you what colors those are because I literally took my dirty brushes like this and maybe this one and I just rubbed them in you know little places so I did that took them a little bit of my catch flamingo with my blending brush just a little here and there and then I, when I was finished and kind of liked the way that the colors were mixed together I took a dry cloth and then just buffed off the top and then I used one of my heart dies and cut out a heart from the center. So I'm gonna lay that one aside. And then again, I just have some black cardstock. And you can either pop this up and have this, your front panel be a little bit dimensional, or you could adhere it flat. Just to make this nice and quick and simple, I'm just going to use my liquid adhesive and adhere it flat right down there on the front. But I think this is fun. If you were going to make a card, I know my teenager would love this with the really bright colors. Um, so it just depends on, you know, who you're making your card for. On what colors and kind of what occasion, depending, uh, to see, you know, what colors you want to blend on there. Okay, so now I have my background there with my heart cut out. And then again, I did kind of the same thing as I did when I colored the die cut. So this hello started out as white and I used that pink, what is it called? Kitsch Flamingo, which is, where is it right here? I used the Kitsch Flamingo and then just added the color so it would perfectly match right onto my white cardstock. So you can see here on the back that it's just white. So I kind of like to do that sometimes, if, especially if I remember. That way I know my cardstock and my ink and everything matches perfectly. And I don't have to search through my stash for a, a colored cardstock that m may or may not match. Okay, I'm gonna get this kind of set into place here. Let that glue set up. 
And then I've got a nice bright hello here. And then I'm gonna take the cutout, my heart cutout, I'm gonna get one more card out of this. So I think this time, let's see here, I think I'll adhere it and pop it up a little bit. Let's see, hey Mari. Let's see here, hey Marcy. Let's see, total side note, I love your nail color. Thank you, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this color. It's kind of corally uh, pink, it's perfect for springtime. So I think it's kind of fun. Again, I'm gonna pop up my little heart here. Let's see here. All right, now I'm gonna peel this off. I may have to. I could adhere my heart in the center. I need to give this guy a little trim there. I could adhere it in the center and pop it up, but I think I'm gonna be a little offset here. Let me make sure it's lined up before I press it firmly into place. Have it offset, and then I'm gonna just give this little side here a little haircut. There we go. Okay, so I've got my heart hanging off the side. And then again, I'm just going to simply add a black Hello die cut. Let's see here. I love how you... Thank you, Mari. So today, Mari, we had a request. I don't know if you were with us Tuesday night, Mari, but we had a request on some different ways to use our new background stamp. And so I'll go back through and show everybody all of our designs here in just a second. So I'm going to set this, oops, set this hello, pull it up, make sure it's nice and straight. Line it right up there. And then this one is all done as well. Okay, so I had I started out, let's count them. So this is one panel. So this is one inked panel of that stamp. And then here's another, here's a whole different look from this adding a little floral on there and a die cut to super simple, just very light embossing and light inking here with a die cut. So this is another stamped panel that we've cut in half. So that's another one. And then last but not least is our colored panel. So this started out as one stamping as well. So just out of one, two, Three times that I stamped this, I got six cards. Just all different kinds of looks and backgrounds and designs, depending on what your needs are. Let's see here. Now I'm going to take some questions. And of course, here is the super simple, just black and white. Okay, let's see here. So thank you, Mari. Let's see, two from one cards are so cool. Uh, black is great for an instant pot. Emily is a talented lady as you are. Thank you, Miss Mary. Yes, M Emily Midget is an awesome, uh, talented floral artist. She does a really great job. Let's see, I'm gonna see if anybody has any questions about anything that I've shown. And then we're gonna have a quick giveaway, I think. Two for one, yes, Miss Bonnie, exactly. Um, everybody's loving the twofer, yes. Total sign, let's see, gosh, all of the background sign, Ellie, yes, handy scandy. Let's see here. Uh, Valerie loves to use background stamps to make pattern paper, absolutely. And since you mentioned that, there's actually a paper in our newest paper pad that is a, um, it kind of looks like that stamp. No, that's not even that paper pad. That's an old one. Let's see, let me find it. Okay, so here's the pretty pastels. But that stamp has its own little piece of paper in here. Let me find it right 
here. So you can see how the, the image has been shrunk down just a little bit, but it's the same florals. So this is in the Pretty Pastels paper pad. Let's see here. Two for one is always fun. Yes, so many uh, to get more uses out of those background stamps. Let's see here. The paper pad is my jam, says Janet. Love the pastels. Okay. Thank you guys all for joining me today. Let's do a quick giveaway, and then I'm going to sign off. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Abigail. Let's see here. Our winner today is... Let's see here. Bonnie Bolin. Miss Bonnie, are you still here? Bonnie Bolin. It says, how long to color? This one took me all said and done probably an hour last night, maybe an hour and a half to color. I did very simple coloring at first and just did all one shade for each flower. And then I went back in as I was chatting with Lisa and I added, and you can see this is not... This is not like perfect Copic coloring. This is kind of just little swipes and little flicks here and there. So I just did that while chatting, um, FaceTiming with Lisa last night. Okay, so Bonnie Bolin, congratulations. Um, let's see, Miss Bonnie, if you will make sure that you have an account set up at Honeybee Stamps, and that's like if you were going to go on and shop the website. And then if you will email Lisa, who I was chatting with last night when I did all my coloring, if you'll email Lisa at honeybeestamps.com, she is going to drop your prize right into your account. So congratulations, Miss Bonnie. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. And now I have six new cards that I can, it's simple. They can go for anything from hello, hugs, and thanks. I use simple die cuts. And I've got six new cards to share with friends. So thanks for joining me. We'll be back on Tuesday on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you then. Thanks, guys, and happy crafting.